She started working with, I suppose, work of a more socio-political theme when she first started working, so from sort of the 1976 onwards. She originally studied at Brighton, where she did a, a very famous work called Domestic Sanitation, which now exists as a video of the performance. And her work was investigating, I suppose, the roots of feminism, starting from the 1960s, I suppose, more particularly from 1968 onwards, where it became sort of a, a key movement that was being fueled not just by artists but by academics, writers and so forth. Helen's work has evolved quite consistently throughout her career from that point, so from 1976 up until her death in 1996. So she died quite suddenly at the age of 42 from heart failure, cutting short a very prolific and incredible career. You know, she had just had a show in 1995 at MoMA New York, she had had a solo exhibition at the Serpentine, the most well-attended show in their history at that point. She had been nominated for a Turner Prize. Everything was going well, and unfortunately, she died. Um, and it was a tragic loss to the art world, but as well to the feminist movement, because her work, more than anyone at that time, was in Britain investigating, you know, the role of the woman in the kitchen. So this work in particular, which is on sta our stand at Freeze today, is a work that she did where she took on the role of the appliance. So the, the kitchen sink, the washing machine, the stove, and performed with it. It's an ironic commentary on that, you know. Typically a woman is shown in advertisements from the 1950s and 60s beside the washing machine, not on it, leaning on it naked. You know, she's taking the piss out of it, really. Um, and for her that was an, an incredibly important thing. She didn't want it to just be this sort of uh, attack on uh, female stereotypes. She wanted it to be a playful attack and I think that's why Helen's work is so easily identifiable um, and why people you know can appreciate the work because they understand the political message behind it but equally they understand that it can be done in a in a very humorous way as but be biting and that's what her work is all about. It's all about sort of attacking the the, re the repressive sort of um, structures that exist in society but in a totally different way and no one else was doing that at the time I would say.